Hey, what's up, everyone? Andrew from B&H here. I'm here at the AES Show 2024, and we're up in a, a secret shore room. Is that right? Super secret NDA room, yes. I'm here with Ben Escobedo, who is the manager of um, product market development. Did I get that right? Close, yeah. Manager of market development. You got it, yeah. Thank you. And, and we're going to be talking about a brand new IEM product that's really exciting. It's the Axient Digital PSM. Now, from what Ben has told me, this unit is somewhat of a Swiss Army knife uh, IEM system. It can do narrow band, it can do wide band, it does analog, uh, digital, and uh, a whole host of other features that Ben is going to tell us about. Um, so, but before we get started, the idea of wide band or W mass uh, for RF, what does that mean? Can you explain that to us a little bit? That's a great question. Yeah, WMAS is a new regulatory construct that the FCC allows us to use wider blocks of spectrum. Previously, we could only use 200 kilohertz and uh, that was it. And now with WMAS, we can use larger blocks and do new and exciting things with that block. So essentially, you have a single frequency with more than one audio channel on the same frequency and a little larger block. You can almost think of it as a mini TV station. Within the WMAS mode, we can do four stereo mixes and an 800 kilohertz block on a single frequency. And that helps you maximize the amount of channels you can get on air with less frequency coordination, which is which is wonderful. So this is Shure's first uh, WMAS product, and uh, it is one of the capable modes that this product can do, in addition to digital narrowband and also narrowband analog. And uh, there are also some other uh, features that you had mentioned too, such as the uh, spatial diversity. Yes, uh, spatial diversity is really cool. Um, it is a, kind of a first that I've seen, and it's basically a fancy term for the ability to broadcast the same frequency on two different antennas at the same time. So uh, on the back of the unit, you come out with two BNC cables, traditional, regular, you know, antennas. And this allows you to make one area super robust for excellent coverage, or a traditionally, like if you're trying to cover a stage in a thrust or a stage in a green room, uh, you're encouraged to overlap uh, the antennas and the coverage with the spatial diversity. This is not really done today. If you overlap an analog wireless today, you'll hear weird noises, uh, but the way we're doing it, it's constructive. And it's uh, if you're familiar with the quadversity concept, it's uh, similar to that where you have more data paths going to the unit. Okay, so cool. So you can basically just get more even coverage uh, in in a simpler way. Right, multi-zone, if I wanna cover two different areas or if I just really wanna make one area super robust or have uh, two areas that overlap, which is very common, uh, this is a great way to do it. And uh, right off the back of the unit without additional hardware, you just two antennas. And uh, you're also being very efficient in the spectrum because you're using the same frequency. You don't have to eat up two frequencies to do this. So um, it's very responsible uh, in spectrum usage. Gotcha. Okay. So say I'm a user who's pretty invested in the PSM 1000 ecosystem. Uh, I have, you know, batteries, body packs. Um, how is the Axiom digital system able to integrate with that? That's a great question. Uh, so this is basically the dream of all existing PSM 1000 users that uh, already already know and love the product, but they've been asking for things like wider band tuning and digital inputs and show link remote control. Uh, this product does all of those things. So um, you can also use your existing P10R Plus packs with it uh, in analog mode and you know sync those packs right to the front panel and use the system in the analog mode, but enjoy the digital inputs and the show link remote control. Uh, additionally, the new pack can do analog as well as the new digital narrow band and digital wide band modes too. And that also uses the, the existing batteries, right? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, the existing battery is the SB910, which is the same battery you might've seen on the ADX one, uh, which we have in our Axiom digital line. Uh, when you get a pack, you get two batteries in the box, like all ADX uh, transmitters and receivers. And uh, that means you have one on the charger and one in the pack ready to go. And you don't have to get additional batteries unless you want to. Well, one cool feature I saw about this was that the sync port is on the back, right? It's a little thing, but yes, uh, we put the sync port on the back so that you can actually infrared sync and see what's going on on the screen if you're going to be doing infrared syncing. Uh, this product, uh, a ton of features. One of them is actually really exciting where we have a feature called network sync where you can actually sync without physically syncing the pack. Uh, over the Showlink network, you can say, I want to assign that pack to this channel and do it all remotely from the front panel or from workbench or, or other means. So um, yeah, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. This, from what I understand, is true diversity, right? There's two RF uh, antennas separately in there? Absolutely. Yeah. The, the term that we use is a true digital diversity. So there's two separate RF lineups. If you can think of it as two radios that are decoding what's coming uh, digitally uh, from the uh, the transmitter, of course. And this just, uh, much like the PSM 1000, the two antenna setup, this uh, increases your reliability a lot. Cool. Now, uh, you mentioned wireless workbench and you mentioned Showlink. Um, to get 
th those features up and running on this system, what do you need? Great question. Well, these are ADX packs, and that's the only pack for the system. So these are Showlink enabled by default. Uh, to get it on the Showlink network, you need the AD610 access point, which is the same one for Axiom Digital. That access point can also coexist with Axiom Digital and Axiom Digital PSM on the same access point, uh, providing you uh, remote control, uh, which is not to be overlooked. I mean, for the first time ever, we're getting telemetry back uh, about what the battery life is, how well the RF is doing. Um, you can also remote control anything on the pack, uh, including the volume knob and uh, any of the settings if you forgot to lock it remotely. So having that uh, you know, back channel communication using existing Showlink hardware is just a game changer. Right. So it sounds like in a environment, say, like smaller theaters, if they have a limited number of wireless, but they need to switch them between applications, it can be easily done. Absolutely. Uh, just like uh, Axiom Digital, you can have eight uh, body packs registered to each channel, but you can have unlimited number of body packs listening to the same channel with or without encryption. So um, it opens up a bunch of possibilities of, of just managing a large number of packs from everything, like you mentioned, a, a bar band, house of worship, all the way to a, like a huge awards show. Uh, the system is ready to go for all of that. Awesome. Um, and I had uh, one more question. Uh, there was some talk about Sure Cloud, is that right? And about licensing and things? That's right. Um, we just launched Sure Cloud recently, and uh, Sure Cloud will also be the vehicle to uh, offer additional expandability of the system. So the system at, in its current form is either a dual or a quad, but through Sure Cloud, you are going to have the ability to unlock this unit and uh, license up to 16 channels of stereo in a single rack space. Um, the licensings will be managing managed by SureCloud. And um, it's not a subscription-based thing. It's a one-time purchase. And you have a lot of flexibility, ability to transfer licenses, ability to uh, uh, move licenses around from one box to the next. If you don't want to do any licensing, the box will always be a four-channel box or always be a two-channel box. It's really, it's up to you if you want to expand your capabilities down the road, which is great. So, I mean, you can start off with like maybe a dual or a quad and you say, oh, I need to add another two or four packs. Uh, you can add any number of packs up to the maximum capacity. Uh, two things to keep in mind. Uh, number one is that, um, you know, you have to manage those licenses and um, we'll have the sure cloud will do that for you. Uh, and number two, the uh, any of the additional license um, expandability, you're going to be using the uh, WMAS wideband digital mode um, because of uh, the channel counts. Uh, of course, uh, due to the limited panel on the back, you'll have to hit it with uh, uh, digital inputs, AES-3, uh, AES-67, uh, Dante to get that. But you can ideally have this in a one RU, 16 channels of stereo IEM and put it in the overhead bin which is absolutely phenomenal wow and uh will all of those you know if you max the system out just as you mentioned uh do you need to do anything with expansion for antennas or or are you cool on on sort of what's in the box that's a great question um you are cool what's in the box i mean just to be clear the all the antenna uh, situation as far as antennas and cabling are exactly the same as we have there's no specialized antennas for the system there is a new combiner for the system uh, if you're going to be increasing your channel count uh, this is a smart passive combiner that actually says hey i'm going to be losing x amount of db please give me more power to compensate for that uh, and that's the smart part of it. Uh, but for most users, uh, they most likely won't need a combiner as the system itself has internal combining. So a lot of the modes you can just say, oh, I want everything to go out of one antenna or two antennas. And it's a very complex subject because of all the flexibility we give you. Uh, a lot of questions like what's best for me? Do I need spatial diversity? Am I doing digital wideband? Am I doing digital narrowband? How many channels? All of those kind of things. Um, but we give you that flexibility. So uh, don't, get, don't be scared. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. And with a flick of the knob, you can change or try out any of these uh, modes. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. And I guess with it just having so uh, much uh, functionality, uh, you know, this is something you you guys have been working for working on for a while, right? And you've been beta testing it out in the field. How's it been performing? It's been great. I mean, we've had many A-list artists and events and large scale events uh, with this product in beta, and I've been fortunate enough to be a part of that process. I mean, some of the takeaways that we've been hearing is that just the sound quality is amazing, uh, especially a vocalist and horn players and bass players are getting all the high end and the low end back that they were missing. It's uh, it's been going very very well. All of this cool stuff we're talking about, it sounds really really good, and that's one of the main things that people have been asking for is like why well, like we have digital ears and digital ears and well it's here and we're proud cool well great well thank you so much for uh giving us this overview very comprehensive overview uh today and if you're interested you can head on over to www.bhphoto.com to find out more information thanks ben thank you